How much do you need to retire comfortably in the Philippines? If you're a Filipino working abroad and dreaming of retiring in the Philippines one day, magkano nga ba ang kakailanganin mo para makapag-retire ka comfortably sa Pilipinas? In this video, we'll break down the numbers and let's discuss some ways on how you can save properly for your retirement later on. The cost of living in the Philippines ay dedepende yan sa inyong lifestyle, location, and personal preferences. Ayan ay hindi siya one budget fits all ha. Magkakaiba tayong lahat. Ngayon, bibigyan ko kayo ng three different scenarios with their estimated numbers to give you a clear picture. Basic lifestyle, comfortable lifestyle, and a luxury lifestyle. Each scenario provides a breakdown of typical monthly expenses. Again, these are all estimates, helping you understand the financial requirements better. Here's scenario number one, basic lifestyle. Starring Roberto and Linda, a retired couple in a provincial town. Roberto and Linda decided to retire in a quiet provincial town, away from the hustle and bustle of the city. They enjoy a simple lifestyle, focusing on local experiences and maintaining a modest budget. For housing, let's say meron silang sariling bahay. So, no need to pay for rents or mortgage. Utilities demand, their monthly bills for electricity, water, and internet would cost around 5,000 pesos or $90. For food, mas gusto nilang magluto ng sarili nilang pagkain. Bihira lang sila kumain sa labas. So, they would spend about 10,000 pesos or $180 monthly on food. Transportation naman. They use public transportation and they have a small car for occasional use. Ang budget nila dito ay 2,500 pesos or $45 per month. Healthcare. They rely on PhilHealth, a government-subsidized healthcare plan with minimal out-of-pocket expenses. They budget around 1,000 pesos or $18 monthly for healthcare needs. Entertainment and leisure. They enjoy local community activities and occasional outings, which cost around 2,000 pesos or $36 monthly. Miscellaneous. This includes personal care items and household supplies, which is around 2,000 pesos or $36 per month. That is a total monthly expenses of 22,500 pesos or $405. Now, to get the annual expense, we have to multiply that by 12. So, ang annual expenses nila ay 270,000 pesos or $4,860. Here's scenario number 2. Comfortable lifestyle. Starring Catherine and Jose, a retired couple in Cebu City. Catherine and Jose, both retirees from the healthcare sector, decided to settle sa Cebu City, a bustling urban center with a vibrant expat community and excellent amenities. For housing, they own their home, a comfortable two-bedroom house, so no need to pay for rent or mortgage payments. Utilities, they live in an urban area. They use air conditioning more frequently. Their utility bills would cost around 8,000 pesos or $145 per month. For food, they love cooking their own meals and dining out. Their food budget is around 15,000 pesos or $270 monthly, allowing them to experience a variety of different cuisines. Transportation. They own a car, which they use daily, and occasional trips around the island. They spend around 10,000 pesos or $180 per month. For healthcare, they opted for private health insurance in addition to PhilHealth. They spend around 5,000 pesos or $90 monthly on healthcare. Entertainment and leisure. They are budgeting around 10,000 pesos or $180 monthly for these expenses. For miscellaneous, this includes personal care, shopping, and household items and is around 10,000 pesos or $180 monthly. For the total monthly expenses of 58,000 pesos or $1,045. Ngayon, kung kukunin natin ang annual expenses nila, i-multiply lang natin yan sa 12 and that is 696,000 pesos or $12,540. Here's scenario number three, the luxury lifestyle. Starring Miguel and Anna, high net worth retirees in Manila. Miguel and Anna, having lived and worked abroad, decided to retire in Manila, the capital city known for its vibrant nightlife, cultural diversity, and upscale living options. 
for housing, they own a luxury house, so no mortgage payments. Utilities, around 15,000 pesos or $270 monthly. For food, they spend about 30,000 pesos or $545 monthly on dining and imported groceries. For transportation, with two luxury cars and a driver, their costs are about 30,000 pesos or $545 monthly. For healthcare, they have premium private insurance costing around 10,000 pesos or $180 monthly. For entertainment and leisure, they love high-end activities and travel. They budget around 40,000 pesos monthly or $725. Miscellaneous, this includes household staff and and personal care costing around 25,000 pesos or $450 per month with a total monthly expenses of 155,000 pesos or $2,985. Let's get the annual expenses by multiplying that by 12 and that is 1,860,000 pesos which is equivalent to $35,820. Now, baka nagugulat kayo sa numbers na yan. You shouldn't be. As early as possible, dapat inaalala na natin yan. How can you plan for it if you don't know your numbers, di ba? Now, para hindi na kayo magulat, let's talk about some ways to save for your retirement, shall we? We shall? We need to. Planning for retirement should start as early as possible. Mas maaga kayong magpaplano para sa retirement ninyo, mas maganda kasi mas maraming time mag-grow yung pera ninyo due to compound interest. Here's a concise guide on how to plan and save effectively. Number one is to assess your current financial situation. I-evaluate ninyo ang inyong income, expenses, debts, and existing savings. This will help you understand how much you can save monthly. Let's say for example, if you earn earn 50,000 pesos, that is $900 per month, and spend about 35,000 pesos, $630, you could save 15,000 pesos, equivalent to $270 monthly. Next is to set clear retirement goals. Decide kung anong lifestyle ang gusto ninyo sa retirement ninyo. Basic, comfortable, or luxury and use the cost estimates provided earlier to set your savings target. Next is to calculate your savings needs. Based on your desired lifestyle, i-calculate nyo ngayon yung total amount you need to save. Include an emergency fund for unexpected expenses. Next is to develop a savings plan. Alamin ninyo kung magkano ang isi-save ninyo each month or year. Mas maaga kayong mag-save, mas lower ang kailangan ninyo per month. Let's say, mag-start ka mag-save when you are 30 years old. You save 20,000 pesos or $360 monthly until you reach 60 years old. And with a 5% annual return, you can reach your goal. How about mag-start ka ng late? Let's say, 45 years old ka na. Ngayon, mas mataas na siya. Yung 20,000 pesos monthly ay magiging 35,000 pesos or $630. Next is to invest wisely. Invest in stocks, bonds, mutual funds, or real estate to grow your savings. You can also invest in businesses. So kahit retired na kayo, meron pa rin kayong pinagkukuhanan ng income. Next is to maximize retirement accounts and benefits. Gamitin ninyo yung mga retirement plans ninyo like 401ks or RRSP. And consider voluntary savings programs that you have in your current employer or country for additional benefits. Next is to seek professional guidance. Work with a financial advisor or planner para maplano ninyong maigi ang inyong retirement. Are you considering retiring in the Philippines? I'd love to hear your stories, questions, and any advice you might have for others. Until next time, happy planning and stay adventurous!